Hi everyone, it's Heather and this is Melody. So, because this is the last week that I am putting up a video before Halloween, because it's like next Thursday, I wanted to do something fun for Halloween and I want to explain what you're about to see because I am planning to like dress up in a Halloween costume and I guarantee you it's going to be a piss poor attempt at what <laughs> and who I'm trying to be, you know, I I didn't put that much effort into it, but I tried. But I wanted to dress up like Michelle Phillips of the Mamas and the Papas. I'll insert pictures. But <laughs> I don't have very many outfits that look like ones she had. And also, I wouldn't say she had that many outfits that were like super iconic. There's a couple, and there's one that I'm going to try to mirror, but just know that I'm trying. <laughs> I thought I would do something fun and dress up for Halloween for the Halloween episode. I kind of wanted to do a costume for like a little while, but I never had like a party or anything to go to, so I figured this was going to be a fun occasion. I'm supposed to be dressed like Michelle Phillips from the Mamas and the Papas. I tried to get as close as I could to an outfit of hers. I have been searching for ages to try and find a green poncho like the one that she had um, to no success. But I do have a poncho kind of like that. I've got some funky pants. I really love them. I call them my fancy pants. And I tried to do like a bright color underneath but you can't really see that. So <laughs> I look like ass today. <laughs> I did try though. <laughs> I tried. Yeah, I look like ass, and now the sun came out, it's not better. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna hide in myself and pretend that I don't look bad. Anyways, um, happy early Halloween. The next time I'll be uploading will be a couple days after Halloween. So, my Halloween episode is now. I have been talking about this for the past few weeks, but... I looked over the episode Monstrous Monkey Mash today. I had a lot of mixed thoughts on it. <laughs> Let's start with the good because there was a lot of fun moments in it. The first thing I wrote for the good was Peter's orange pajamas because I love his orange pajamas. It's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> um, Mickey was just unhinged in this episode. That's the best way that I can think of to describe it. He was, I don't know, something snapped. He was crazy. <laughs> I love Peter's outfit with the two-tone green pants. I want pants like that. They were great. I also love the editing during the part where they're talking about vampires. And it keeps like flashing the pictures of the dude that plays a vampire. It was, I felt like it was more creative editing than you usually see in a monkeys episode. I also thought that Mike was a total standout for the episode like for whatever reason he just he was so funny I don't know I think it's just the way that he talks and one more thing that I thought was fun is Valerie Karras the actress she popped up for like two seconds in the episode I thought it was fun because she was in a bunch of episodes it's like find Valerie <laughs> I'm gonna skip to fun moments because I'm gonna talk about the bad ish things last but I wrote down a lot of fun moments the first was in the very beginning Mickey was kind of like subtly grabbing at his face with his arm under his pajamas and the only way I can just describe it is like this he was like doing that it was it was funny because it was kind of subtle but kind of not and just very goofy and very very in character for him and just Michael being a total smartass <laughs> is the only way I can describe it. Like I said, he was a standout in this one. There was like a random outtake in the middle of it. It's like Mickey was like trying to be scared or something. And they were like, oh, do it again, do it again. <laughs> and you feel like hear them talking from off camera. I just thought it was so random. But it was, I mean, that was basically season two in a nutshell. Everything was very random. 
Peter's line, what a time to be caught without a turtleneck. And Mike, when he was like doing his whispering voice, it was so funny. I don't know, it was just the way that he was talking. And Peter saying that he wanted to stay with Michael because it was safe. It was so adorable. I, I liked how the, the mummy suit that Mike had on, it was just so low effort. It was like, they didn't really try. Alright, I'm gonna stop slouching now, because I didn't like that. I also, it's just the poncho. I don't, I think I don't like the poncho on me. It just makes me look whiter. And I'm not small to begin with, which is another problem with this outfit, because Michelle was very small. Kinda hate this outfit. Now. I should just take the poncho off. That's not working. So I took off the poncho and I wish I'd filmed the whole video like this because this angle and without the poncho looks way better on me. Oops. Anyways, moving forward. Wow, this is derailed today. Not only did they break the fourth wall many times, they just smashed it and stomped on it and beat it with a baseball bat. They're talking about the fantasy sequences that they normally do. And Mike with his little Texas prairie chicken button on the side that was cute. Now on to the issues that I had with it. The whole time that I was watching the episode, I was just full of questions. There were so many, I don't know if it was plot holes, but I had a lot of questions. Lorelai, the, one of the main characters, she had this necklace and she was wearing it in the beginning. And then she gave it to Davy, and then all of a sudden he was hypnotized because of the necklace. So, why was she not affected by it? Or was she affected by it, and because of that she's under her uncle's control? I'm not sure, it doesn't touch on it. But, are those two, like, magic or something? I don't know. I just had so many questions. <laughs> and also, if, if the two of them were basically vampires, which they kind of are, Unless they just decided to look and act weird for no reason. If they were just like obsessed with vampires for some reason. Like why did they need Davy? Why couldn't they just be Dracula and Dracula's niece? And then there was a scene where Davy was still wearing the necklace. But he was trying to talk to the wolfman and like convince him to help him out. Like, like oh well, they're treating you like a dog, you know. You gotta rebel against them. And like, if he's, if the necklace means that he's under their mind control, why is he also trying to rebel? I don't know. My brain hurts right now. <laughs> and one, one last thing I wrote under just general commentary, vampires are pretty cool. Why is Davy complaining? Like, if the biggest of your problems is that you're going to be a vampire for the rest of your life, I think you can adjust. I don't know, it's kind of cool. <laughs> there was one last thing. During the romp at the very end, there was like this random filler footage in there. It was very obviously shot in the first season. Why? It doesn't fit in. It was just really clunky. The episode was just kind of a fun, goofy, logic and physics don't seem to exist in that episode, and that's okay. It was just a fun episode. I didn't think it was fantastic, but it was definitely fun. Definitely get you in the Halloween spirit. I would give it maybe a 6 out of 10, just because I had a lot of questions. But it wasn't offensively bad. It wasn't horrible. The writing was fun, even though a lot of it didn't make sense to me. Um, I also realized that there were more episodes that could kind of fit in with the Halloweenish theme that I have neglected to think about for this month. So next week I want to look at the I Was a Teenage Monster episode. It's, from what I remember of it, it was so, so funny. I remember that I love it a lot and I can just predict that it's going to be a glowing review because it's such a good episode. <laughs> but anyways, that's about all I have for today. Um, have a happy Halloween and I will see you next week. Bye!